From the disappearance of one aircraft to the shooting down of a second, Malaysia Airlines has been forced to review its troubled business operations. It's expected to conclude with a radical rebranding, including a name change. Richard Bestick has our report. In just four months, the name of Malaysia Airlines has been blighted by tragedy unprecedented in aviation history. First, MH370 disappeared off the map en route from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing with 239 passengers aboard. One of the great aviation mysteries of the modern age. A disaster followed by the further tragedy of flight MH17, shot down in the view of most Western governments as it flew over land held by rebel fighters in the east of Ukraine. The human carnage has seen ticket sales and shares plummet. Market professionals insist Malaysian Airlines can only be saved by radical rebranding. The reality out there in the marketplace is not only should they, they absolutely must. Indeed, if they don't, they'll be dead as a business. Changes are already underway. The call signs for MH370 and MH17 both abandoned by the airline. But there remain questions about the safety of the route taken by the ill-fated flight MH17 directly over a conflict zone. What Malaysia should be doing is becoming the pioneers, the flag wavers, the champions of this big issue, which clearly is an emerging one, um, and champion it themselves. Despite the human tragedy, Malaysia Airlines' commercial director says the company will survive. We'll come out of this stronger. Uh, and every time that you have these type of tragedies, we will adjust our processes and procedures to make sure we learn everything we can from them and make, help us stronger and avoid them in the future. Malaysian Airlines was already in a difficult place financially, even before the double disaster of flights MH17 and 370. Restructuring the company and possibly saving it could take up to five years, but with no guarantees of success. Richard Bestick, CCTV, London.